So this is our wearable headset. It's our product for charge. Our product name is Charge, and it's a wearable headset. It can recognize your. We can read your brain wave to do some mind control things. Currently, we can recognize six directions control. Uh, one. So we basically is up, down, left, right, and forward and back. And based on that, we can do a lot of integrations with with other devices and applications. And besides of the control for the directions, we also can recognize people's emotions. Uh, we can recognize whether you're currently focused, whether you're relaxing, whether you feel stressed, whether you are enjoying or not. So these emotions we can detect. And also, based on the emotion detection, we can do a lot of you know uh, uh, applications to do the emotion detect. So like the, the driving, if you're drunk or not and you know, whether you focus in the class or not. So teachers can know the students' reactions directly from the applications. So um, let me introduce more about our product uh, materials. So we have actually eight channels to detect our EEG signal. Basically, this is a dry sensor. Uh, it's actually better than traditional one because traditional sensor, we need to wet our hair to get emo enough touch to get the brainwave data. But now we actually improve it to be a dry sensor. People just, just touch it, you no need to get water on it. And then um, we actually have two reference points to the ear, A1, A2, to get the reference data. And it's totally eight channels so that we can, it can help us get, get you know, as, as much as more data as we, we want. And uh, actually I'm showing that is our PCB member from um, our devices. Basically we use uh, TI chips to uh, process our data and the data is from our air channel sensors. So in this member we will do some handling and then storage for data and then uh, send by Bluetooth to our applications. So um, basically uh, the handle will be we we'll have inside algorithms to filter out uh, uh, the data that we don't want to do, we don't want to know, and the data we need. So we will have some filters on that, and then after process the data, we will get back the, the result back to the application or either the devices we integrate with. So yeah, you can see um, in devices what the, the PCB we we just design and by ourselves, and the chips you can see here. 